I help you? Yes, I've just moved to this area with my wife and children, and I'd like to know where we can all register with a doctor at a health centre. Oh, okay. Uh, well, there's Dr. Green at the Harvey Clinic. We always recommend her for babies because she's very good with them, and she runs a special clinic. Oh, uh, actually, my youngest child is five, so that wouldn't be any good for us. Right. Is there anywhere else I could try? Yes, the Eshkol Health Practice is the next one on my list. How do you spell that? E S H C O L, and it's Dr. Fuller who has space on his list. The clinic only opened a year ago, so the facilities are all very modern. That sounds good. Hmm, and it's particularly good if you're busy during the day because they also do appointments in the evening. Hmm. They're closed on Saturday, though. The only other place on the list is the health centre on Shaw Lane. You can register with Dr. Gormley.、Uh, that's G O R M L E Y. He's new there, but the centre has a very good reputation. Oh yes, I think I know the road. That would be the best one. Thanks. Could you tell me, will all their services be free? Ah,、uh, there are usually some small charges that doctors make.、Uh, let me see what it says about the Shaw Lane Centre. If you need to be vaccinated before any trips abroad, you won't have to pay for this. Ah,、uh, what else? The Sports Injury Treatment Service operates on a paying basis, as does the Nutritional Therapy Service.、Mm -hmm. Some health centres do offer alternative therapies like homeopathy as part of their pay-to-use service. Shaw Lane are hoping to do this soon. I think they may start with acupuncture. Oh! And finally, if you need to prove you're healthy or haven't had any serious injuries before a new employer will accept you, you can get a free fitness check up there. But you'd most likely have to pay for insurance medicals, though. Okay. Thanks. You might also be interested to know the centre is running a pilot scheme of talks for patients. I've got the list here. Actually, they look very interesting. What sort of things? Well, the first one's about giving up smoking. It's next week, the twenty-fifth of February at seven p.m., and that's in room four. It says the talk will stress the health benefits, particularly for people with asthma or heart disease. That sounds very interesting. There's also a talk for families with children. It's on healthy eating and takes place on the first of March at five o'clock. Will that be at the health centre? Um, actually, it's at the primary school on Shaw Lane. I imagine they're inviting the parents of pupils there. It says here all welcome. Hmm, I might go to that if I have time. There's a couple of other talks. One giving advice about how to avoid injuries while doing exercise.、Mm -hmm. It's on the ninth of March. Oh, it's a late afternoon talk at four thirty, and it'll be in room six. It also says the talk is suitable for all ages. And finally, there's a talk called stress management, which is on the. Hello. Hi, it's Laura Carlton here. We've just arrived at the holiday flat, but I can't get the hot water and heating to work. All、oh, right, that's easy. Don't worry. In the upstairs cupboard, you'll find the water heater. You'll see three main controls on the left at the bottom of the heater. The first one, the round one on the far left, is the most important one for the heating and hot water. It's the main control switch. Make sure it's in the on position. The switch itself doesn't light up, but the little square below will be black if the switch is off. <laughs> That's probably what's happened. It's got switched off by mistake. The middle one of these three controls—you'll see it's slightly larger than the first one—controls the radiators. If you feel cold while you're there and need the radiators on, this needs to be turned to maximum. The last of the three controls, the one on the right. Is usually on about a number four setting, which for the water in the taps is usually quite hot enough. Below the heating controls in the middle is a small round plastic button. If there isn't enough water in the pipes, sometimes the heater goes out. If this happens, you'll need to press this button to reset the heater. Hold it in for about five seconds, and the heater should come on again. Then there's a little square indicator under the third knob that's a kind of alarm light. 
It'll flash if you need to reset the heater. Mm, it sounds complicated. <laughs> I'm sure you won't have any problems with it. There should be some more instructions on the side of the heater. Call me back if you can't make it work. OK. While you're on the phone, we haven't managed to find a few things we need, like extra pillows for the beds and some washing powder. Is there any here? Pillows, uh, yes. If you look in the cupboard, the large white one upstairs, to the left of the bathroom door, there should be four or five on the top shelf. And if you want to do some washing, there's some powder for that, um, <laughs> probably by the back door. There's a kind of shelf there above the sink. In fact, I'm sure there's some there in a large blue box. You need about half a cupful for each wash. Oh, and that reminds me. The spare key to the back door is hanging on a hook on the wall by the sitting room window. Please make sure to put it back when you've used it. The previous guest lost it in the garden and I had to get another one made. And if you have any trouble with the lamps, you'll find some spare bulbs in a large cardboard box. It's on top of the washing machine with all kinds of useful things in it. Oh, and another thing I forgot to mention when we last spoke. Yes? I've left you a local map, so you'll be able to find your way around easily. It shows the whole area. I put it in the top drawer of the chest under the TV in your bedroom. There's a whole file of local information in there too. Thanks. What about visiting the town? Can you give us any advice? Yes. You'll need to take the car. It's too far to walk from the flat, really. You have to pay to leave your car in all the car parks now, I'm afraid. I like the one that's by the station best, and you can walk to the town centre from there in five minutes. That's where all the best restaurants are. But if you want a takeaway, the Italian one does really good pasta and pizzas. Call 7322281 for that one, or 7661119 for the Chinese. They're both good, and they'll both deliver to the flat. As for places to visit, yes, do go and see the Railway Museum. The exhibition is small, but really good. It gets very crowded on Sundays, so I suggest you visit it on a quieter day, later in the week, but not on Thursdays, which is market day. You won't find anywhere to park, and it's also the only day of the week when they're not open. Anything else? Not for the moment. Thanks.